Are you sure that's how you want to do it? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Hello, friends, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna be testing out questionable beauty hacks from Facebook videos. So recently I was scrolling on my Facebook feed and I came across this video. It was a DIY makeup hack video in which the hacker cut up fake eyelashes and dumped them into clear eyebrow gel. And that was it. That was the hack, much to the ire of the commenters below. This led me down a rabbit hole of more of these Facebook beauty hack videos, of which many seem to share the theme of why and is that even a hack? It seems like they often just do random things just to have a sensational thumbnail or title. So it's not really the kind of clickbait where they lie to you because they usually show you what's in the thumbnail within the video, with some exceptions, but oftentimes they seem to just invent something ridiculous just to get a reaction. And they almost never talk in the videos, so they don't really have to explain themselves. To be fair, it can be kind of entertaining, like, hey, You've got a fork on your face. How about that? But I wouldn't really call them hacks. That said, maybe I've got it all wrong. Maybe these hacks aren't ridiculous and they're actually very helpful. So we're gonna put them to the test today and find out. Okay, so first up is this pretty mysterious hack. So this particular video was posted by a Facebook page called Brush and the caption says, I need to try these. A little bit below that, they do credit this girl, Luisa Simona's Instagram, but it doesn't seem like they tried these before they shared them with the world. So basically they put some toothpaste and then some baking soda in a cup and they mix it together Oh, and then straight away, there was no before picture of the chin. Louisa is just brushing the toothpaste on her chin. I don't know what her motivation is. I mean, we can watch it with the sound on just to be sure that Louisa's not speaking to us. No, it's just just sort of jazzy lovemaking music. But she does make sure to put up some fish emojis, just so you know she's making a fish face. Then she wipes it off and we see her chin. And then after that, it just goes straight into a different hack. So that's about all the context we have. So I say, let's test this thing. Okay, so she starts off by just pouring the toothpaste in. There's no quantities that she gives. She just sort of puts it in. That was a pretty artful swirl if I do say so myself. And then after that, she puts in what looks like one teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, I spilled it. I spilled it. This smells really good though. Maybe it's for bad breath on your face. So how she applies it is she just sort of takes some on her toothbrush and then puts it straight on the chin. Oh, it's cold. You look like you're doing a bad job brushing your teeth. It just missed completely. Ooh, wow, that is pungent and powerful on the chin. She does sort of brush it around. Oh, that hurts. I feel hacked. You definitely look like a hack. Let me see if Louisa herself has anything to say about this. Ah, this must be it. It is supposed to remove blackheads. It's supposed to remove blackheads. Don't leave it on. Well, I left it on. It's too late now, we can't go back. All right, so I think I should probably take it off now because I've left it on for at least five minutes. Oh boy. Oh, oh, ow, ow. As it's coming off, it hurts more. I don't know that my chin looks like there's less blackheads on it, but it does look a little bit red and raw. So Louisa did have a little bit more instructions, but Brush just chose to like completely not include those. Though the comments do say a couple of helpful things. Do not do the first one with whitening toothpaste, it will burn. Is ours whitening? Yes. Damn it, Louisa. <laughs> All right, well, that's our first hack. Based on the pain and the lack of instructions, I wouldn't recommend this one. Shall we continue? So this next hack was the sort of OG hack that started off this whole process. This is the clear eyebrow gel. This video was posted by a page called Eyeliner Addict. And yeah, people in the comments are just really not having it. Like Tricia, for example, says, so if I shave my legs or vag, I can just glue it on my face? To which I say, Tricia, do you. The thing is, as the girl applies the gel to her eyebrows, her eyebrows don't look bad at the end, but I'm just really unconvinced that it has anything to do with the little hairs that are in the gel, but who knows? So let me wipe my eyebrows off and put some eyelashes on them. All right, so it looks like her first step is just chopping off bits of these fake eyelashes. Does she chop them all up? She must, right? This is just not enough hair. There's just, this is too slow. Hey, this is making your life easier. I kind of feel like I don't 
have as many as they did. They only really showed like one tray of these little eyelashes, but I feel like theirs was much hairier. It looks like a really bad sneeze. Is that how many nose hairs come out when you sneeze? No comment. So we have the exact same eyebrow gel that they showed in their video. They have some type of extra dropper though to get it out of there. So I'm gonna pop open the top and I'm gonna stick this syringe in. None of these steps were included in the hack, by the way. All right, and then I'm gonna syringe the clear gel into our little pot. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, well, I think it's time to uh, mix our gel up and uh, put it on my eyebrows. The thing is, like maybe if you have sparse eyebrows, you wanna fill them in with things that look legitimately like hair, but I just don't think that these really look like eyebrow hairs. They're curly and wiry and puby. <laughs> I know that there's hairs on my brush, but I don't think that they're coming off onto my eyebrow. I will admit that my eyebrows are not like the most sparse, but at least they match the color of the eyelashes. Because I feel like if you had lighter eyebrows, this might look ridiculous. All right, so I think I've done both brows. I don't think that they look like particularly bad. You can't even really see the little hairs at all. And if you can, they're just kind of like sticking out awkwardly. It's possible that they may have thought that this was a good hack, but I also think that they may have just thought it looked kind of gross and thought that they could get a bunch of Facebook comments about it. And they were right. Okay, so this next hack is for eyeshadow. And I'm gonna be honest, I feel like it might work. But when I saw this, I was just like, why? So this is a video posted by this page called Five Minute Crafts. Its caption is top secret beauty hacks for the perfect image, winky face. You know what I'm talking about. The perfect image. All right, so right in the beginning, this person has covered her face in pads. That is uh, not part of any of the hacks, I don't think, that she's just sort of done that to artistically show you that pads are gonna be involved in this video. So basically this woman is putting on eyeshadow, she's getting fallout, it's terrible. It's almost like a setup to like an old school infomercial. It's like, do you have a really hard time opening milk? And then now they're gonna show you the solution, which is to just put a straw in the side like Joey Tribbiani. My favorite is that she looks to the side sneakily before she pulls the pad out. And then she cuts it up into pieces and sticks the pieces under her eyes. I understand the idea of like putting something underneath your eyes to catch fallout, but does it have to be a pad? The people in the comments don't seem to be loving it. Is no one gonna mention that pads are way too expensive to be using on your face every day? The sticky adhesive that's supposed to adhere to panties should never go on your face. Listen, Angie, you seem like a, a sensible person that has no place in Facebook hack videos. So um, let's try this, shall we? All right, so I'm gonna cut my pad as she does. I think my pad's a little bit thicker than hers. Then I'm gonna take the adhesive off and and then stick this on my face. It's a good look. I'm not sure about her pads, but my pads on my face right now only has adhesive like right in the middle of it. So I actually feel like fallout could still get underneath there. <laughs> All right, I'm going into some more vibrant colors just to make sure we could really test the fallout catching capabilities. I don't really know what type of eyeshadow look I'm going for right here. I'm just <laughs> putting colors on my face. All right, ready? I'm gonna take them off. Oh, I do think that they caught some of the fallout because you can see that there's little eyeshadow specks sort of right there. So it did catch some of it, minus this little spot right here. But as people in the comments said, the expense of using pads under your eyes and also the fact that you have a pad adhesive on your under eye skin every day makes this a pretty like not feasible hack. All right, so this next hack is a foundation application hack of which I feel like there were a lot in the last year and a half or so. All right, so this video is from a page called Beauty Hacks and their caption is items at home that will save your makeup routine. And the item they propose will save your foundation is a balloon. My biggest gripe with this hack is how they've cut it together. It seems like it doesn't work very well to begin with and then it cuts to her foundation being completely blended. So it makes me feel like she blended out her makeup with something else in between. Okay, I mean, let's try it. I'm gonna inflate this now. Do you know how to blow a balloon? Yes. This is a tough balloon. Let me stretch this out a little bit. All right, there we go. Ha ha, a beauty blender. All right, ready? It makes a fun sound when it hits my face. All right, clear first problem, besides the fact that the foundation isn't really soaking in, which is pretty much exactly what happened in the video, is that this balloon tip is round and I can't really get in any crevice of my face, but this is fun. I could just do this for a while. I mean, it's a balloon, then you gotta squeeze it in there. Oh, that's a good idea. The balloon is more malleable than I had expected. All right, 
there seem to be a couple crevices that we just can't reach. So I don't think that her foundation was completely blended out by a balloon, but I would recommend putting a balloon on your face because it's fun. I wouldn't call it a beauty hack, but it would be what I would call a fun evening. So this next hack is an example of what I'd call the hack gone too far. This video is called Nine Hacks for Perfect Cat Eyes. And this girl basically just takes any item she can find with a straight edge and puts it next to her eye, which seems to be okay when it's like tape or like a playing card. She then goes on to paint scissors with eyeliner and put them next to her eye. <laughs> The interesting things about these comments are that a lot of people are criticizing her eyeliner, which I actually don't find to be the problem. There are not enough people in these comments being like, please don't put scissors next to your eye. Um, anyway, with that, let's try it. Which end does it look like she's using? I think it's this end. Yeah, it's a long pointy one. So I think in spirit, this hack is pretty, that just it, freaked me out. be careful, yeah. That just freaked me out. This hack is similar to like an eyeliner stamp where she actually paints the eyeliner on the little edge and then stamps it, stamps it on her eye. To which I would say, use anything else but this. This is probably one of the dumber things we've done on this channel. All right, ready? I'm not ready. I'm nervous, mom. Ooh! That wasn't even good. It didn't come out very well, which is a shame because I put my eyeball on the line. I think I'm gonna have to try it again and maybe try and paint more of the scissor blade. The thing is, my scissor has a flat end right here and so does hers. It's not even like a point. Yeah, I don't think that looks very good. I'm just gonna do the other side just for good measure. Well. I mean, that's better, but it's still terrible. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend this hack. I don't think either eye is ideal and also putting a scissor next to your eye is not ideal. So I would say in general, don't do this one. Okay, so this next hack is also from the Facebook page Brush and it is called Four Emergency Makeup Hacks Everyone Needs to Know. So this one is like a few hacks in in this video and it's basically supposed to be emergency lipstick. They put Elmer's glue and food coloring into a bowl, mix it together, then apply it to their lips and let it sit for 10 minutes and then peel it off. So I think basically the idea is that I would be staining my lips, which may work, but I think my biggest issue with it is just like, why would I have these things with me in a makeup emergency? I feel like if you're you're in a pinch and you've got 10 minutes to spare, try and see where the nearest CVS is. I think that's number one on the list. All right, and now let's put it on my lips. All right, let me try and get a good coat of this on there. I'm trying to get some butthole coverage as well. Hello. I feel like a Barbie doll. So yeah, I'm gonna hang around for 10 minutes and then we're gonna peel it off. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. <laughs> Listen, you talk. I can't really talk, but it's really solidified. And I think I, I hopefully I'm ready to peel it off. Oh yeah, that was a pretty good peel. Right. Very snake skinny. And I do think my lips look pretty pink actually. I do have a little bit of like extra glue kind of like in the inner rim butthole area. But besides that, I think that the stain did work. I just don't think that this is what one would or should do when presented with a makeup emergency. It doesn't seem like a good use of time or glue. All right, so we've made it this far. This is our very last hack. This is a video from Eyeliner Addict and the caption is, take your makeup off with shaving cream. Basically, this girl rubs shaving cream all over her face and you know, it sort of tries to show us that it's taking her makeup off. Then she says, but be careful around your eyes. And then it cuts ahead to the eye makeup already being removed. So I suspect that this hack doesn't really work and they're just living off the cachet that like shaving cream's a weird quirky thing to put on your face. So with that, let's try and take our makeup off. Are you sure that's how you wanna do it? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I put too much on, I need help. All right, just give me one second. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom and get rid of this extra stuff. You never look better. So she basically just takes the cotton round and just swipes it down like this. I mean, it looks like there's some makeup that came off. Mostly, I feel like I just took off the shaving cream though. All right, I'm gonna need a lot of cotton rounds for this. Use all of your cotton rounds every time you take off your makeup. See, I just don't see how this is helping anyone. I think that the shaving cream is a little bit itchy and it's also like weirdly drying. All right, so it seems like we've reached the eyes. She completely skipped this portion. So um, I guess just straight to the eye. <laughs> is that working at all? I actually do think it's taking some of my eyeshadow off, but I'm not convinced it's doing any Thing for the eyeliner. I think it's just sort of smudging it around. I would be at this for like a good 30 minutes before I was actually makeup free. So I don't think I would call this a hack. And the fact that this is the only hack in this video is 
worse, I think. It's not like a filler hack. It's not like, oh, we need fives, so like throw one in there. They're like, this deserves a video. <laughs> Do you think we could cut ahead and then it would work? Yeah, just turn all the cameras off. I'll take my makeup off with a makeup wipe and then we'll re-roll. Okay, so those were my Facebook beauty hacks. Out of all of these hacks, there were definitely a couple that worked to a certain extent, but I would also say that none of them prioritized ease, convenience, or common sense over getting views, shares, and comments on their videos. To be fair, there are weird beauty hacks all over the internet, but on other platforms like blog posts and YouTube videos, the creator has to at least try to explain why they think the hack is helpful. But in these videos, they're more like, this is a ridiculous seeming method. We're not going to explain to you why this is happening. And we're gonna bet on the fact that you're probably not gonna try it and call us out on it. Now, I understand the plight of posting videos to Facebook. They're basically trying to get people to stop scrolling on their feed and watch a video they didn't ask for. So these videos basically need to be as crazy as possible to stand out, which explains why these videos are pretty fun to watch and sort of out of the box, but good beauty hacks, they are not. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. A big shout out to Melinda Mayhem for watching. Thanks for watching Melinda, and I will see you guys a next time.